Lee, we're back in uh, Droop and Rhine Beeler Field, but uh, give us a little bit more background to Droop and Rhine. Well, firstly, thanks to MTD uh, CNC for coming back, Mark. Um, Bielefeld is the home of Droop and Rhine. It's where we make our largest machines. These are all gantry machines. So uh, Droop and Rhine have been making machines since the 1890s. And uh, this, this is a facility we moved into in 2000. We make three types of machine. We make a, a large gantry machine that moves over huge components where the gantry moves. We make a gantry where the gantry static and the table moves below it. And then we made, we developed, and we were first to market with this machine, which is an overhead gantry, um, which Uli Vihagen, who's the plant manager here and head of sales, is going to talk to you about today. And typically, a lot of the machines that you actually make here are based on your spindle technology centre here. Is this the same with this machine? It's, it's all the same. The, 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 the core competence behind the, the, the different heads and the different spindles reads across to all the different machines. So we've got over 300 different heads to cover all different market segments and uh, we're specifically looking at aerospace today. Ulrich, uh, Lee has spoken about this machine but uh, yet again it's very different. Could you tell us about the technical aspects of this machine? Yeah, this machine is specially made for landing gear. That means we have to do roughing, high feed roughing and also finishing of the landing gear. And we have special hats, we have special spindles for this and a special small device to reach uh, small areas where we uh, need to have access to, to machine the components. And uh, this customer is looking for high volume production. For that reason, we have a twin spindle machine. And I see that uh, you've also got uh, automation for tooling, but uh, does Droop and Ryan actually offer automation for parts? Yes, we have different solutions. Here you can see two working areas, which is an easy solution, but we can equip the machines also with pallet systems. We have different pallet systems that depends on the customer's need. And I presume the customer's need is very much down to the component, is it? Absolutely. We will check with our technical engineers what is the right concept for the component. Is it a moving portal machine? Is it a moving table machine or this upper gantry machine? and then we configure the machine according to the needs of the customer. When I look at the workshop at the moment, you've got a number of machines, they're all very, very different, but where do you see the future of building machines? In the future, I see more multifunctional machines like this upper gantry machines. There are some advantages. Um, it needs less floor space, roughly 30, 40% you can save on floor space, and it's easier for the operators, it's easier to use flood coolant, etc. So in the future, I see more upper gantry machines. And that doesn't matter what type of material they're cutting? Definitely not. We can go up to 100 kW. For those uh, engineers that don't know Droop and Ryan, what message would you give them to come and talk to you, Jurek? Let us talk about your production, about your component, because the machine is only one component of the process. And we have a lot of experiences and together with custom experiences, we can optimize the whole process and not only to deliver a machine.